I know I look like trash, like literal, actual, physical trash. Um, I just woke up and I did not feel like getting ready whatsoever. Get on with it. This shouldn't even be that long a video. Anyway, so you don't have to bear my fucking hideous face. I wanted to tell you guys this kind of embarrassing story because normally when you hear horror stories from the nail salon or, you know, bad experiences, it's normally the people working at the nail salon. But girl, oh, my nails look like this, by the way. They did a really good job, so it's not like any of that. These are like baby pink coffin nail. Every time I talk to someone, I'm literally like, I love them so much. And a lot of people have been like, ever since I started YouTube, they're like, why don't you like get fake nails? Cause like you bite your nails and it's like not that cute. And I'm like, girl, I know. But I love biting my nails. I don't know, like, they say that like you can, if you don't do something for over like 21 days, you like break a habit. But girl, I have gone without biting my nails for like 50 days once. And then like the 51st day I was like, bitch, who am I fucking, who am I trying to pump? <laughs> like I love biting my nails. Anyway, for some reason I was feeling like really anxious that day. And this was like three days ago, by the way. So I had sat down to get my nails done. I had gotten a pedicure before this. But I sat down to get my nails done and it was another person. So I sat down after telling him that I haven't gone to the nail salon or to the salon in forever. And he asks me, why not? Like, where do, where, where do I live? Assuming that I was going to say somewhere far. So I, after I told him that I lived really, really close, like literally like down the street, he was like, oh, so why haven't you been here in a, in a while? A normal person would be able to just have a normal ass conversation, not come off as weird and sketchy. But you know what I said? I could have just said that I was busy or that I didn't find time or, you know, anything. But what I said next, I cringed so hard. I wish I could have cringed myself to death because I had told him, oh, I haven't come here in, in forever because I just moved. I moved further away because where I am moving, my, the apartment I just got is like 30 minutes away. And so I was explaining that to him and he literally stops doing my nails and is like. <laughs> what? He was like, wait, so you, you don't live over there? And why would moving make you not able to? I literally sat there like this and I was like, I looked up to God himself and was like, all right, God, you can kill me now because it was just so bad. Like who even says that? Are you okay in the head? Like this is why I, I'm so antisocial because it's like, I can't even have a normal conversation with someone. Are you kidding me? Who the fuck says that? So after I, after those words came out of my mouth, it was like I was possessed or something because I didn't, I wanted to take him back instantly. So he was just like, anyway, and he goes back to like sawing my nails down or whatever. But yeah, and then I was hoping the cringe would end after that, but it doesn't. He tells me after he's done, oh, oh my God, okay. The mailman came. I was hoping he wasn't going to come to the door because I was going to have another cringe story to tell. But after he finishes putting on my top coat and everything, he's like, yeah, a lot of people, um, a lot of people will ding their nails before they can make it to the drying section where you put your nails under the, like the air. So your nails dry or whatever. He's like, a lot of people manage to like fuck their nails up before they even get there. And he was like, so don't be that customer. I was like, bitch, I got you. I ain't going to. I'm not gonna fuck these up, trust and believe. I didn't say that though, I was like, uh-huh. And so I, you know, everything was good and dandy, didn't fuck him up, you know, nothing like that. When I'm leaving, he's standing outside smoking a cigarette and I didn't know what to say because it was just me and him outside. And like, I don't know if you guys have ever had that like really uncomfortable moment. Like if you see someone in school or work or something and then you see him outside of that, it's like, Ugh, what do I say? So I literally just walked by him and was like, 
I didn't fuck up my nails. And he was like, yeah, good job. Like, fuck, get this bitch out of here. So yeah, after I did that too, I just kept walking because I had to walk to the car. And I was like, I'm never going back there. I'm not go I'm never going back there because that's just so uncomfortable. Like, and, and earlier when I was getting my pedicure done, the lady who was giving my pedicure was like, I remember you. She was like, I remember you. Yeah, did you lose like 50 pounds? And I was just like, no, I've like gained 50 pounds, but like, she was like, no, I remember you. You lost like a lot of weight. You look way skinnier. And I was like, oh, yeah. She was like, yeah, over there you got um, French a French manicure and like white tips or whatever, French tips or whatever it's called. I have never in my life gotten that done before. So I don't know who she thought I was, but I just make everything so uncomfortable. And this is why I have no friends and I don't function in society at all. So it's like an issue. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys liked or felt my embarrassment with this quick little story. Um, and tell me if you've ever had a similar situation where like you see someone outside of work, school, wherever, and then like, or just someone you've never met before and you just like ruin your first impression. So yeah, I love you guys and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.